Horses are on the track for race nine at the Illinois State Fair. Win, play, show, exact to trifecta wagering. Two-year-old pacing Colts in the Isoba series. Number one, Max New Yorker, owned by John Key of Muhammad, trained by Irv Miller. Andy Miller is up. Two, Rap and Banjo, owned by Don James and Brandy Malloy of West Salem, trained and driven by Pat Malloy, Jr. Number three, Sporty Nate, owned by Larry and Susan Bowen and William Kerr of Mount Sterling, trained and driven by Larry Bowen. Number four, Makarak Attackatu, owned by Gary Kembro of Browning and Danny Moore of Rushville, trained and driven by Danny Moore. Number five is Black Oliver, owned by Larry Breed of Stockton and by Benita Simmons of Springfield, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Number six, Mr. Mantique, owned by Dan Adams, Danny Reed, and Larry Reed of Decatur, trained by Larry Reed, Dale Heitman in the bike. Number seven, Silent Steel, owned by Ron and Dolores Phillips of Petersburg, Illinois, and by Jesse Fergie of Platteville, Colorado, trained by Mike Rogers, Mike Osting in the bike. Number eight, Sycamore Jake is owned by William and Susan Puddick of Lewiston, trained by Alan Bowen of Mount Sterling, and he is the driver. And number nine, Storm Off the Cape, owned by Larry Finn, Trudy Beaver, and Gail Glumack of Newton, trained by Larry Finn. The driver is Fred Finn, Jr. Post time in five minutes. Sycamore Jake made a break behind the gate. Here they come. He's off stride again. And he's still rough gated. The rest are off and pacing. Sporty Nate goes for the lead. Mr. Mantique is there on the outside. Max New Yorker gets away third. Rappin' Banjo is out fourth. Silent Steel away fifth in the center of the racetrack. Sporty Nate gets over toward the rail, leads it by a length, but there goes Mr. Mantique moving up on the outside. Mr. Mantique is gunning toward the top. He makes the lead clear by a length. Sporty Nate is second by two and a half. Max New Yorker will travel in the third position. Rappin' Banjo is fourth. Black Oliver is fifth. 28 seconds for the opening quarter. Makarak Attackatu is sixth. Silent Steel is seventh and moving up on the outside a dozen lengths off the lead. Five more to storm off the cape. Another eight lengths back to Sycamore Jake, who is last. Mr. Mantique leads it by two lengths, moving down the backside. Sporty Nate is second a length and a half. And here comes a move by Black Oliver from fifth to third. And Sporty Nate is off the rail from the number two position. Sporty Nate up to get the lead by a head. The half in 58 and one-fifth seconds. Mr. Mantique is second a length. Black Oliver goes third. Silent Steel on the outside is fourth. Max New Yorker locked in fifth. He's four lengths off the lead. Then Rappin' Banjo storm off the cape. Makarak attack at two. And Sycamore Jake is last midway on the final turn. Mr. Mantique. Teak still leads it by a half length. Sporty Nate is parked second around the turn. Black Oliver is third and thinking about a three wide move, but here comes Silent Steel, and Silent Steel begins gearing up on the far outside, two lengths off the lead. Three quarters, 127 and two. Silent Steel comes charging off the final turn to take the lead by a head. Mr. Mantique is second toward the inside. They're moving by the eighth pole. Black Oliver third. Sporty Nate is fourth. Silent Steel has the lead by two. Mr. Mantique and Black Oliver is charging. Here comes Black Oliver with a flourish. Black Oliver gets it by a neck. Silent Steel was second. Mr. Mantique was third, 155 and one. It's official for the ninth race, 5-7-6, the official result. Black Oliver picks up a new lifetime record, 155 and one, six wins in nine starts now. Two-year-old gelding by Warrior for Peace from his first crop, out of Olive U by King Cam. Olive U was a mare that Tom Simmons raced for his wife Benita and co-owner Larry Breed. Olive U was a multiple Illinois County Fair stakes winner in the Simmons stable. And Warrior for Peace off to a good start in his first crop. This year with several two-year-olds who have been racing downstate on the county fair tour. Here is the fastest so far from that crop. Warrior for Peace offspring, Black Oliver, Tom Simmons with the winning drive.
Again, the Illinois Standard Bread Owners and Breeders Association sponsors this two-year-old pace. Tom Simmons is originally from Odessa, Missouri, near Kansas City. He has stabled here at the Illinois State Fairgrounds for a number of years. And a big group joins him in the winner's circle. Tom, let's talk to Tom Simmons just for a moment. When you came across the line, I saw you shortly after the finish kind of take your whip, flick it off the shaft of the race bike. I had the impression you were really pleased with this Colt's performance. Is that the case? Uh, he went very well today. I expect him to uh, uh, get a decent trip in there. I kind of got lucky there, but I'll take that. <laughs> hey, we can take the blame as long as we come out of winter. Tom, but you got him home first, and that's what counts. That's what matters to the public. That's what matters to us. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Tom Simmons, he's our winning trainer driver.